this video, we will walk you through how to install IntelliConnect on your V2 Lodestar VS Hoist. The installation kit you received should include all necessary parts to convert from the existing hardline data port on your Lodestar VS Hoist to our wireless IntelliConnect technology. Before beginning the installation, ensure your hoist is disconnected from the power supply. Failure to do so could result in serious injury. To install the kit, you will need the following tools. A 17mm or adjustable wrench to remove the M12 data port connector, small flathead screwdriver to remove M12 data port connector wires from VFD, Phillips screwdriver to remove VFD cover, 3 16 inch Allen wrench to remove the end cover bolts, 20mm or adjustable wrench to install cable gland and tighten cord grip, and a torque wrench. To begin, first remove the hoist VFD end cover. Then you will need to remove a small cover on the VFD to access the M12 data port wires using the Phillips screwdriver. Next, disconnect the M12 data port cable from the VFD using a small flathead screwdriver. Then tighten the loose screws back down. Next, put the VFD cover back on. Once that is complete, remove the brake end cover to access the M12 data port. Then, using the 17mm wrench, loosen and remove the M12 data port from the hoist. Be careful not to let the wires twist too much. Bring the assembled IntelliConnect kit box and bracket close enough to the hoist to plug the Ethernet cord into the VFD. Next, install the free end RJ45 of the Ethernet cable and gland into the now open M16 threaded hole in the hoist from the outside. The angled RJ45 connector will be a tight fit through the threaded hole and may scar the RJ45 molding a bit, which is okay. Tighten the base of the gland until it's finger tight, plus a quarter to a third of a turn. While doing this, it is important to ensure the O-ring doesn't twist. Once that is done, run the Ethernet cable down the side of the hoist alongside the existing wiring harness to plug the Ethernet cable into the VFD Ethernet port. For optimal cable routing inside the hoist and positioning, the cable should be positioned as shown. As you can see, the wire runs under the bracket, clear of the cover hole and dowel pin, then out through the bottom wireway slot. For optimal positioning of the RJ45, guide it through the wireway as shown. Next, tighten the hoist cable gland dome nut to clamp down on the Ethernet cable, sealing it from environmental elements. The cable should not slide if it's tight enough. Once that is done, you can reinstall the VFD end cover. Use the two longer replacement end cover bolts with the replacement O-ring and washer. Next, place the hoist brake end cover back on in the order shown in the figure on the screen. The O-rings should be on the inside of the cover, while the washer is placed between the cover and the bracket. Torque the bolts to 50 to 60 inch-pounds. The bolts on the top of the hoist for the end cover do not get replaced unless they're damaged since they do not need to be longer to accommodate the bracket. Once the end cover is secured, the installation is complete. To start using IntelliConnect, download the IntelliConnect mobile app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Now you're ready for intelligent lifting. For more information on the Lodestar VS with IntelliConnect, visit www.columbusmckinnon.com cm.